Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to do this fantastic granny striped edge for our blanket. As you can see here, we're using our granny clusters to finish off our blanket edge. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so to get started with our blanket border, I've whipped up a little swatch here uh, just of our granny stripe. You guys can see that in a previous video. I will link it in the description below. This one's super, super nice and easy, uh, beginner friendly, and I'm using our four and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I grabbed our Karen cotton cakes in this awesome gray and kind of like seafoam green, light blue and white. Uh, ball actually it's a favorite of mine really really enjoy this one and we're gonna start with a complete row of single crochet around the outside of our blanket and to do that we are just going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across our blanket and then when we get to the corner we're going to talk about how to make that corner stitch and this pattern is going to be very similar to the grainy stripe that we are doing for the body of the blanket so we're going to start off with a nice and clean single crochet edge and as you guys notice I do give a little bit of a tug at the end of each stitch to kind of hold everything and keep my tension the way that I like it when I'm crocheting. So keep in mind this is not necessary it's just the way that I like to do my stitches. So you will get used to your own tension as you go and you will figure out what works best for you. If you're a little bit looser of a crocheter you probably won't do that or if you're a little bit tighter of a crocheter then you may do that little bit of a tight thing during each stitch. Okay, now coming up to the end of the row here, we have our last double crochet here, and then this is our chains from the beginning of the row. So we're gonna make sure we do our double crochet, our single crochet into that last double, and then we're gonna put our corner here right on the top. So I'm actually gonna go into the stitch on this one. So I'm not gonna come into a space between the stitches. I wanna come right inside the stitch so it stays within that chain stitch and doesn't slip down. Now you can, there's a couple of options. I like to do three single crochets around the corner. That gives me one definite stitch that's going to be the center of our corner stitch going forward. You could also put a chain here as well if you feel like you want to have a little bit of a more of a space at the corner that works as well. Okay now working down the side we want to make sure that we're not going to put too many stitches. It's going to start to ruffle if you put too many stitches. So what I like to do is I like to do three stitches in every two rows. For this we have our corner that finishing here so I'm going to put one more stitch into the edge of that chain at the beginning of the row. Now this is our last double crochet at the end of this row as well so we're going to put two in here and then the next one we're going to skip over and just put one. So one single crochet here and this is going to keep things nice and flat. This works for me. If you notice you have a whole bunch of gapping happening and you need to add some extra stitches you might have to rip it back out and start again. Just keep in mind blanket borders are kind of a, a fluid concept in that they can change based on the pattern that you're working on and sometimes can change based on the stitch pattern you're working on as well. So we have two here and then we have one here. Now we're going to do two more in the next one and then one more into the next row here. Okay, this is what I have found has worked best for me. Uh, like I said, it might not work for you. You might have to do four stitches, like two along each stitch across, or you might find that only one stitch works in each row. So, you know, kind of play with it and see how it looks. Now, keep in mind that when you're playing with it, uh, you might not notice for several rows that it's gone all wonky on you and you might have to rip it back out. And of course, that, that will probably happen on the first couple of blankets that you make. But if you are kind of a perfectionist like me, I will definitely rip it back out several rows if necessary to fix a problem like that. So we're going to get back down to our corner here as, and then we're going to do three more single crochets into the end at the corner here as well. So I've gone inside the stitch here at the end and we're going to do three single crochets. Now you will notice that I have a tail happening here from the beginning of my blanket or my sample. So we are going to keep that one inside our stitches and continue working across our row. So how do we keep it inside? So what I'll do is I will, here's my working yarn, here's my tail. I will put it over the crochet hook after I have inserted it through the stitch and then just single crochet right over top. This puts it inside the stitch. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Puts it inside the stitch and basically will virtually disappear 
as we work along our row. Now this is our chain row, so we wanna make sure that we're sticking our crochet hook into each of the chain stitches. So sometimes this one will be a little bit slower. We have one chain stitch there, one chain, st chain stitch there. And what's happening is because at the beginning of the row we did three double crochets and then skipped two stitches, we want to make sure that we are working the correct number of single crochets along this initial row. So hit pause here, go ahead and finish this row and I will meet you back here in a moment to do our first row of Granny Stripe border. All right, so here we are at the end of the row. We have one single crochet here at the end and then we're gonna actually finish our corner off. This first chain that we started with at the beginning of the row is going to be our third chain in our corner. Do two more single crochets to make the corner and then slip stitch to the chain at the beginning of the row and call it. So now we're gonna start into our granny rows for the border. So we're gonna start with a chain two. We're gonna use this chain two as the end of our corner when we get around to the end. So we're gonna skip two stitches and work our first cluster, which is three double crochets all the way across until the end of the row or until the end of time. A granny cluster is three double crochets. <laughs> All right, so there's our three double crochets, and now we're gonna skip two stitches, one and two, and then we're gonna make another granny cluster into the third one over, and we're gonna continue working our way across the blanket. All right, so again, give the video a pause. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working, and I will come back and we will talk about that first corner, and we'll figure out what to do if we are short or have extra stitches and how to make it work. So here's our last cluster. And now we have two stitches and then we've got into our corner. So we're gonna skip right over to the corner. We put three single crochets in here. So we've got one, two, three. We're gonna work directly into the center. And because this is a corner, we're gonna actually work six double crochets into this corner stitch. Now, if you feel like your single crochets are too tight and you want to put a chain here, that's completely fine. It will give you a little bit more space to work these six double crochets but I don't find that as super important. I will just put six double crochets. Some people will also add a chain here in the center before moving on to the next side. Uh, that's fine too, completely up to you, and that's obviously personal preference. Now we're gonna work along the edge following the same pattern that we did across for that first row. So we're gonna skip two stitches and work into the third. Now we're gonna work several rows of this in this exact same pattern around the outside and this is actually gonna grow into a series. So this is our first video of several that will include some crochet blanket borders. Now we're at the next corner, so we're gonna work our one, two, three stitches. We're gonna work into the second one. And again, we're gonna do six double crochets as our corner. And if you guys did the grainy square blanket that was like a granny to infinity that's what we did in the corners all of our corners have six double crochets on them again another beginner blanket pattern but you know that one i might actually do like a scalloped edge on just because i want to do something a little bit different this one i think looks really great because then it starts going around the outside right like we're seeing happen here so once we add another row to that it's going to look super cute we're going to keep going and i will come back and show you the finished product after we've done several rows of our blanket border. And you can decide how many rows you wanna do. If you wanna do you know, three or four rows or you wanna do just two rows, that's completely up to you. And again, you're gonna know, you're gonna know when you're finished when you see it. So that's what I generally like to do is I will you know, keep going until I'm like, yeah, you know, that looks good. I think that's enough. And then we stop. I'll be back in a second to show you that finished product. If you made it this far, go ahead and hit that like button below, subscribe to our channel, and then click this video on the screen here because it is one that you will definitely want to watch next. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. See you next time.